Uh, what else is there? That, uh, what about uh, traditional arts? So okay. basket weaving. Yeah, basket carving, weaving. House building. Yes, traditional house building is uh, being encouraged in that some of the uh, buildings sort of withstand the cyclones because Vanuatu is in a cyclone prone area. The buildings have to withstand the force of the winds and uh, people are st still uh, have traditional houses made of thatch and uh, wild cane and wood. Uh, though a lot of people are opting for uh, materials that come in from overseas because of scarcity of local materials for house building. Um, and weaving, the women have been, we have had people coming in to uh, explain to the women that now weaving is a knot that shouldn't die out. So it's being taught in schools and they're forming a cooperative right now whereby those who weave can uh, get their baskets or mats uh, to be sold here. And the government on its side has decided to do with, away with plastics in Vanuatu uh, so as to encourage the women to weave more baskets and that, and that in the island has been taken up by the women. Wood carving or making things out of seashells or stones or wood? In uh, seashells, we've had some machinery brought in from overseas to help the women to carve uh, shells because of the tourist industry here. I don't really know how successful they have been in uh, carving those shells, but I've seen some examples of it. Uh, wood carvers, and Nigeria is one island which doesn't really have carvers as they do up in the northern part of Vanuatu. Uh, but we do have a few. We have one here, Eliasa and uh, Neta. And I bet there are some others that haven't really come out yet, but those are the ones that are prominent with the people here. Was there um, some traditional clothing made out of bark or fibers or other things that people wear for ceremonial purposes? Uh, yes, uh, for the women, I think it was uh, the grass skirt, which is um, their croton leaves, which have been plaited and woven into a, a grass skirt that's worn. Uh, almost an, it's everyday clothing for them. But though they have uh, mats to wear at some times. For the men, they have uh, the penis rubber. The penis rubber was uh, worn by men, and also they have a, a cloth, which was called namas. A part which is taken out from the tree, beaten into uh, soft tissue, and uh, one between the legs and the paddocks. Um, whereas the penis rubber is slightly different whereby you just, the testicles are left hanging. It's only the penis that is covered. But <laughs> nobody wears that anymore here. It's only traditional dressing. And what about um, decorations for the head, feathers or leaves or things that people wear on their heads for some traditions? Traditional dressing in the uh, head band. We have uh, a leaf, I don't know the Latin name for it. There are two major ones that, uh, if you are coming into a ceremony, uh, you, and if you have, you can change whatever mood you are. It'll say the leaves that you wear in your head will. Uh, let other people know what it means. If they know the name of the leaf, they know the meaning of that. So it's part of uh, 
our message uh, being transferred from one person to another. And that's still being made today in, uh, we have Inba, Negei, and Gusu Widok, which uh, people play together. And they, every traditional ceremony, they should have that. And I don't know other, about other islands, but Najum has that. They uh, put it over their head and they put it around the neck. Can you say something about uh, traditional kava growing and preparation and how it has changed? Kava preparation was kava which is drunk nationally now in Vanuatu. Um, was at one time grown in large quantity here, but it has declined. Uh, but people are reviving the industry, cover industry, uh, mostly for local consumption. Though a few have uh, plantations or cover gardens that are used for, for commercial purposes. And 